Now, this is a problem that so many business women face, how to stop working for free or how to not fall into the trap of giving away things for free. Now this is particularly important if you work in a service-based industry because some people just feel like it's just your time, it's not going to cost you anything, so why can't you give it to me for free? Well, in my opinion, there's only two times that you should work for free. One is right at the very, very start of your business in exchange for experience and testimonials. But here's the thing, don't do it for too long. Decide in advance how many clients you're gonna give away free sessions or services to and cap it at that and then go on to paid services. You do not need to gain experience forever and ever. This is not a four year business degree. You know, you can get experience straight away from clients and also you can build on experience that you've had in your previous jobs or just from your natural God-given talent. So for God's sake, woman, don't forget to charge for what you do. Okay, that's the first time. The second time is if you're genuinely doing some pro bono or volunteer work, expecting nothing in return and giving it from the generosity of your heart. Now, I suggest that you only do this if you're an established businesswoman and you've got the time and energy to do it, plus your business is making enough to cover all of your needs. So they're the only two times that I think you should be giving away your services and time for free. However, I do have two caveats on this. First of all, I think you should be very, very generous in giving away information. Be generous, give your best stuff away. So an example of this is my free pricing course. I give away some of my really closely guarded secrets or things that previously I'd only shared one-on-one -on -one with clients. This is a completely free course and I give it generously to people. But here's the thing, it doesn't take my time and energy. It's something I've created once and now I can generously give it away free. So be very, very generous in you know, the information that you give. Don't feel like if you give too much, they won't want to work with you. That's not the case at all. In fact, the more generous you can be in your information, and this is you know, videos, blogs, free courses, just free um, expertise that you can give away, the more that people would want to work with you one-on-one -on -one and pay a higher premium for your time because they think, God, if she's giving that away for free, imagine what it would be like to actually work with her and do her package, program, or service. The other time is I really think you should give away free samples of your work, whether this is a free mini ebook, a free course like my pricing course, maybe a free webinar, a free workshop, or in some cases, sometimes it is good to give away, say, a free coaching session or a free discovery session or some type of very, very short free one-on-one -on -one with you. And there is an art to this. I only suggest that you do this if you're comfortable about then saying to people, hey, well, you've got this little free sample. The next stage is for you to buy my bigger package, bigger service. You know, sometimes people do just want to quickly get on the phone with you and see if there is a fit. So in some circumstances, I really think that is a great freebie offer as well. Now, I want to give you some specific advice for two very, very tricky situations. I get asked this all the time. What do you do when people email you or Skype you or Facebook you or whatever asking, you know, a, question, a specific question or asking to pick your brain? Now, this can be torture for, for people right at the beginning of their business because one, it's really incredibly flattering that people want your advice, but two, it's like, it's okay when you've got a couple of people doing it, but the bigger you get, the more and more people will want to ask and you'll spend your whole time just answering free questions back and forth. And I've had many of my clients do this and I've broke them of the habit in a very easy and elegant way. So rather than responding, telling them all that you know, like solving their whole problem, which to be honest, over email, people aren't going to change their entire life or habits just because you sent them back a really long email. FYI, it doesn't happen. People really need to invest in themselves over the long term to really see long term sustainable change. So that's a little bit of an aside. So what you do is you just email back and you say, great, you know, 
I totally understand where you're coming from or, you know, it sounds like it's a really challenging situation or it sounds like, you know, you're really ready to do something about this. I think a great next step for you would be to, you know, sign on to my X thing. It could be, you know, my website package for new entrepreneurs, my, um, you know, how to lose it in 30 days program, my um, autoresponder amazingness program, my, you know, kinesiology introduction session. You just say, I think this is the right next step for you. Here's a link. That's all you need to do. Some people will jump on it straight away. Some people will kind of be like, oh, well, I just wanted her to solve my problem, you know, over email for free. Of course they do. And if you do respond to people, of course, sometimes they're going to want more and more. And have you noticed that those people sometimes don't even say thank you? Hmm. So that's a really, really easy trick. It's just like, hey, totally get where you're coming from. I think this is the right next step for you. Big hugs. Bye. Now, it's going to hurt the first time you do it because you're going to feel like a real bitch. But honestly, that is the best next step for them because you know that's going to lead to better you know, better results in their business, better results in their life, and more sustainable transformation over time. The second tricky situation is transitioning people over from free to paid, or say, for example, transitioning clients over from low cost, maybe you were just starting out, to your new and improved pricing. Now, this can be kind of awkward because if people, again, are used to getting you for free or used to you um, sending them personalized emails, back and forth about their particular situation, some people aren't going to like it. But you know what? For a sustainable business, sometimes your clients need to grow with you. And some of them will and some of them won't. And that is okay. So don't be afraid to transition people over from free to paid or from your low cost to your high, high cost. And in fact, I've got a brilliant free resource for this where I give you some you know, tips and tricks but also word for word scripts about how to say it, you know, how to say to people, hey, guess what, my price is going up, or hey, guess what, your free sessions are coming to an end, um, and you do it in a really, really non-douchey way that's not going to make you feel like a crazy, greedy bitch at all. So to get that, you just go to um, www.luckybitch.com slash pricing, and you'll be able to get that whole course and, you know, just follow it step by step. And you know what? Every single time I increase my prices, I do the same thing. I look at the script and I read it out word for word. It's very, very simple. The very last thing is to constantly remind yourself that what you do is awesome and you deserve to get paid for it. So hand on heart, big breath in. It's my time and I'm ready for the next step. And then draw a line in the sand, no more free, and you are ready to be paid what you're worth right now.